and this is the beginning of my road trip that I talked about in my previous video stuck on 295 South outside the National Security Agency and uh, we have shit going on People not paying attention. Oh, there's like one. Short in the front end of that car. Oh, he did, Danny. Look at that. Oh yeah, he had a little problem. Oh, goodbye Civic. That one bought the bullet. Oh yeah. I don't think that's gonna be driving anymore. The van's not even hurt hardly. Yeah. Yeah, that car's done. That car's pretty much done. What is going on in this state? Yeah, we're right outside of DC right now. Hey, if you want a whole meal, go in my fridge. There's uh, chicken breast, there's corn, and there's stuff. I have no idea what's going on, guys. No idea. It's crazy. But we're actually, we're actually driving down the highway. So we are, Doc and I, right here, we're in Maryland. We're the southern tip of Maryland. We're down around DC. We're down by DC. We're stuck in traffic. Traffic fucking sucks. It's not fun. And uh, we're actually. What's up? The Richmond or bust. It's, yeah, we're, we're heading to Richmond, Virginia. Well, what are we heading to Richmond, Virginia for? <laughs> we're going to pick up a little baby boat, put on the back of the Dirty Max. And since the Dirty Max did such an amazing job, at towing that 33 foot Sonic back the other couple weeks ago, a week ago or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna just hook up to a little tiny scarab. Nothing crazy. But, uh, oh, GTR. Nothing crazy, we're gonna tow it home. So we're on our way down, down there now. We still got about a little over two hours left to drive it. We're three hours into it right now. That sucks. 106 miles to go. Yeah, 106 miles to go, and, and traffic's been traffic's been fucking horrendous, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I want to go race that GTR. I'm gonna race him. I'm gonna smoke his ass in the Dirty Max. Comment below. Should I? Should I not? Let me know. But uh, all right. Well, let's get down there. Let's check out this boat. See what it looks like, and get this bitch back home. Yeah. Coming off on a gigantic bridge. A big bridge. Let's see if my uh, Easy Pass works here. It might, it might not. I don't know. We're gonna learn today, boys. We're gonna learn Six today. Ouch. Come on. We're gonna get lucky. No. Oh. Can I just keep going with a low balance? Or? Yeah, you good. All right, thank you. I have a low balance, boys. I gotta fill my shit up. Gotta fill my shit up. <laughs> We made it though, boys. We made it. We made it. <laughs> I was getting kind of worried. I'm like, uh, low balance on my Easy Pass. Does that mean I have to stop and pay the rest here? Oh, there's some boats. Look at them boats. Got some big boats down there. We're gonna go over this big giant bridge. This is the Potomac River. I don't think I've ever been over this bridge before, honestly. This is the first time. Oh, that's a skinny fucking bridge, dude. That's a freak. This is sketchy. This is a skinny ass bridge. Keep moving along. 
All right, guys, we are finally down here. We finally got down here to get this boat. I'm gonna show you guys what this thing looks like. It is freaking amazing. Look at that thing there. That is crazy. And the Duramax did an amazing job coming down here as well. Freaking, ugh, I love this truck, love this truck. Oil change definitely helped, definitely, definitely helped get this boat and it's gonna get it home as well, which is gonna be freaking amazing. So this thing looks like my boat that uh, Doc has up at the shop, has the black on it right here. And it's a Wellcraft too, check that out. Look at that, freaking nice. It's got some holes in the back. This might be an issue for uh, flotation, but these holes in the back, we're gonna have to fix those. We'll do uh, some duct tape before we put in the water and uh, not let it sink. When your friends say, buy a truck, it'll be fun. How's it, how's it looking there? <laughs> Pretty good. Getting her all fastened down. Oh man, look at them gauges. Look at them seats. Look at this big ass trailer I got to tow. <laughs> I'm already tired. <laughs> what are you tired about? You just been sitting in the driver's seat. Ugh, oh, it's, it's very tiring sitting in the driver's seat, guys. You know that. <sighs> Steel freaking trailer. How much do you think this weighs, Doc? Well, the motor is 6,000, about 6,000. The boat is? What about the trailer? The trailer is probably 1,500. That's oh, that's not bad. That's that's pretty light. I thought it'd be heavier than that, to be honest. No, I thought we were looking at more like closer to 10 grand. My 36 Baja ain't 8,500 pounds. Really? <laughs> and the Baja is one of the heaviest. You need the big strapper. I think that will reach. The heaviest boats out there. It's the really? 99. It's all short. No, um, the F1 class boat. Oh, okay. Alrighty. I'm just here holding straps and stuff. How you doing over there, buddy? We're trying. Oh, uh, okay. You looking for an anchor point? Yeah. No, but... We wrapped it around the frame here, boss. Yeah, I know, but you can't do that with this part of it. Oh, can't you? No. Oh, yeah, because it, it's the other it's the other hook. That's what it is. You know what you need? You need you need two of those uh, axle straps, axle things, you know? Yeah, that's what you needed for this. That would have been, been perfect. It's really hot down here. Doc, that looks like a real pretty boat there, buddy. On a nice, fine truck there. What do you think? No. <laughs> your boat on steroids. <laughs> yeah, it pretty much is my boat on steroids. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Doc, strap her down. You know, just in case it falls off the trailer. <laughs> that would be really scary if something like that happened. <laughs> tell this is how you tie a boat down if you ever had one come loose on you you ever have one break on you ever had somebody pull out in front of you you'll know real damn fast i had a guy in a caravan dodge a caravan but think about it when you hit when that boat moved if it didn't move you would have bumped more damage right <laughs> yeah, exactly it's uh yeah that took the took some of the <laughs> off. I so I should just be. His, I'm a. I'm a Doc's official tow guy. It's equal, <laughs> it's equal force on each object. A lot of people don't realize that. Why? Well, what was the problem with your red truck? Uh, she's been a little squatted. <laughs> I'm not squatted at all, man. Oh, you went down about six inches, brother. Oh, I got my shock set at nine. I'm good to go. She went down about six. I'm good to go. <laughs> We're just living our dreams. Living our lives, living our dreams, all that fun stuff. <laughs> Falling a tad short again. Are you really for real? Yeah, because yeah, normally you don't have that long hitch. Was... Alrighty, let's get this these blocks out of here. 
Oh. Man, let's get these blocks out of here in one. We don't need that block no more. We don't need that block no more. Guess what? We don't need this block anymore either. Ah, oh. oh, never mind. We'll stay there. Obviously, always make sure your lights work when you hook up a trailer. That way you don't kill anybody on the way home. Is that what sucks? So we got all our lights working, except for the three in the middle. That's not a big deal. Alrighty, here we go. She's a working. She's a working. Very nice. Very nice. Turn her off. Turn her off. Whew. All right. Well, I guess. I guess we're gonna get this this boat back to PA. It's like a five hour drive. It was like five hours to get down here, five hours to get back. It's already, oh my God, it's eight o'clock already. <laughs> so I, w I wanted to get like video. I want to put my GoPro up on the hall of the boat and actually get some video like coming home, just some interesting stuff. But obviously it's going to be dark out here very, very soon. So it's really not going to be worth doing that, unfortunately. So we'll probably just head head back to, uh, well, we might stop and get some food, I don't know, but if we do, I'll take some more video of it, like a big, like, wide view of it. And uh, if not, I'll see you guys back in PA, well, where we will unload this boat off the truck, and uh, I get to go home finally. So let's get moving, guys. Let's get moving. Whew! We are back. We are back. There's the boat. You gotta get it off the truck. All right, Doc, get this thing off the truck. Ugh. She did good, the Dirty Max did good. That freaking hitch, oh, you guys can't see it. Oh no. God. The exhaust is like throwing in my face right now, you know. What do you need me to do, buddy? You okay? You need professional assistance? There's a possibility of that in the future. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? The hook got twisted in there. Oh, I was like, I was like, Linda, what are you doing, Linda? I told everybody previously in the video, Doc, that, um, you probably should not put this uh, boat in the water considering there's two big holes in the back. There's something missing, Floyd. There's a, there's a few things missing from this boat. You probably shouldn't put it in the water yet. Probably should wait. They're in the garage. They're <laughs> waiting to go in. Yeah. In some, they're in some big boxes up here. That's where they're at. <laughs> Are you selling this cobalt? I gotta show him Top Gun. This is the Cobalt. This is for sale. Rahel, Rahel. He just got done doing this boat, but this is Top Gun right here. 23 foot, 454 big block. And this freaking boat is scary, stupid, dumb fast. I refuse to go in this boat anymore with Doc driving, mainly because of the fact that he's nuts and he jumps waves like six feet out of the water with this freaking boat. Forget it. Don't need that in my life right now. You know what I mean? <sighs> my boat's out back. Doc's actually the one building my boat um, and stuff. You can't see it, but it's out back somewhere. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so my boat, hopefully, hopefully my boat should be done here sooner or later, probably within the next week he's going to be getting it in and uh the interior of my boat needs to be done like the upholstery stuff like that but other than that like everything's been laid out all the um uh fiberglass and everything's been done that's been done for a while now so hopefully my boat will be in the water this season praying to god it is we'll see what happens but uh he's going to be putting together his boat and that's actually his dually that he'll be towing with his boat with he has a nice uh older dually with a 454 in it but he'll be putting his motors in that boat, towing it with that truck, and we'll have Dooley's towing boats down, which will be pretty freaking awesome. So it's late, it's like literally 1.30 in the morning, guys, right now, and I am freaking tired. We went all the way down to Richmond, all the way back in the day, 
It sucked. It took us five hours to get down there. It took us a little over, around four hours to get back. Plus we stopped and had some food and, and chilled out for a little bit at uh, in um, Shrewsbury at this uh, gas station place. But I'm gonna end this video, guys. I'm tired, I wanna go home. We gotta get this boat unhooked and uh, I need to get the hell out of here. So if you enjoyed the video, do me a big favor, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Instagram, Diablo Formula Racing. Facebook is also Diablo Formula Racing. If you guys wanna see more boat stuff, let me know, comment below. Uh, Doc has a shit ton of boats sitting around here that he's working on and doing things to, and I'm sure he ain't gonna care if I come by and videotape them. So uh, like I said, if you guys want more boat videos, do me a favor, comment below, and I will get you more boat videos. Other than that, guys, deuces.